Dude, I didn't get the eat. Oh, I, I should quit you. There's another one. I did a really nice strip set and everything. Come here, Herman. All right, this fish is gonna be ceviche. That's the smallest fish I've seen. Cool. Yeah. All right, well, we'll just go ahead and bring you into the boat then. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. And in today's video, we're gonna do catch and cook redfish ceviche. I think the first thing I need to say is that if you are going to harvest a fish and have it for dinner, please follow all regulations wherever you're fishing and harvest responsibly and sustainably. We caught a legal slot redfish and we're gonna make some ceviche out of it. Now, if you're gonna harvest a redfish, I recommend taking a smaller one. The quality or texture of the meat is a little better. The bigger ones might have worms or parasites. Just, you wanna eat a small redfish, basically. This is not my recipe. I got this recipe from my friend Ron, who's gonna walk us along through this process. Say hi, Ron. Hi, Ron. <laughs> I would imagine this is applicable with almost any fish, right? Most firm saltwater fish do well for ceviche. I like redfish ceviche a lot. There's a little bit of prep that you have to do for it to come out well, though. We filleted the fish earlier, and what I do is I cut out the bloodline and cut out all the red flesh, the red portions of the flesh, because that tends to be oily and stronger tasting. And when you get rid of that, Redfish becomes a much, much milder fish and uh, can make great ceviche. All right, so let's go over the ingredients. What are the ingredients, Ron? Okay, so for my ceviche, not everybody's, about a 21 inch redfish, filleted red meat cut off, limes sufficient to make enough juice to submerge all the redfish meat, jalapenos minced, one yellow onion diced to a quarter inch dice, a tomato or two diced again to about a quarter inch dice. My secret, what I do is I take some mint leaves, not too much, and mince them very fine and include that in there as well. And then a little bit of salt for seasoning. And then I saw, we have some avocados. What are we gonna do with the avocados? So avocados, um, I like them with ceviche. Some people find that if you mix the avocados in the ceviche, they get a little slimy. So what we do is make the ceviche, dice the avocados, and kind of put them on top as a garnish or on the side so people can mix it in themselves. We've already filleted the fish. Right. Um, now what do we do? Gonna dice the fish. I like a decent sized cubing of the fish, so I dice it to about a quarter inch cube or maybe a little bigger, actually more like a half inch cube, like my thumbnail. A little salt, stirry mixy. A little oh. more salt. Where you been on my life? <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. How'd you do? I'm gonna have some too. Guys, dig in, please. Holy. Mm. Holy mm. wow, ceviche. Mm. Oh man, that is really good. Oh my God, it's good. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Who does not like the outside? Stop your mama in the face, dude. Hey, Mark. Mm. How is it? Answer with your mouth full. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Yummy. Mm. Now we've reaped the benefits of our labor. That just feels wow. good. Thank you, Ron. It, it tastes good, too. Man. Mm. Ron. The scoop is perfect. Wow. Yeah. Food. That's how it's strong. Yeah, so good, right? Ron. Right mm. Isn't that man a nice this, this one? The man is yeah. so much better than the <laughs> dish, though. <laughs> Right? What do you think, Max? Pretty good. Yeah? Good stuff. A little spicy there, Ron. That's okay. gonna do it. You're First ever happy. catch and cook at Huge Fly Fisherman. Oh, I'm maybe an official YouTuber now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. You guys know what to say at the end, right? Stay huge. <laughs>Get in there. That's good ceviche. About to happen. Welcome to Louisiana. This is kind of awesome. You're not supposed to hotspot and say Sorry. we're in Louisiana. Welcome to Mich Michigan Soda. This is <laughs> amazing.